The key to writing neutralization reactions is to understand that most of them are double replacement reactions. Let's consider the reaction of hydrochloric acid, HCl, with sodium hydroxide, NaOH. So as these react, we'll see a double replacement reaction. I have a hydrogen ion, which is a plus one charge, a chloride ion, which is a minus one charge, reacting with sodium hydroxide, which has a sodium with a plus one charge because it's an alkali metal, and hydroxide, which has a negative one charge. So as the ions rearrange, we need to always pair positive ions with negative ions, and we're always going to be listing positive ions first. So the hydrogen ion from here can combine with the hydroxide ion from here. This will allow for the formation of water. I'll write water's formula as HOH here to remind us that we are producing a hydrogen hydroxide compound. The other product of this reaction will be the result of the combination of the other two ions, the sodium plus one and the chloride minus one. So this acid-base reaction will produce sodium chloride and water. The next reaction we'll take a look at is a reaction which will produce a salt that we see right here. This would be iron 3 sulfate. Now in order to figure out where this came from, we need to once again understand that acid-base reactions are going to produce salt, and this is our salt in this reaction, and it'll also produce water. From this information, I can deduce backwards and figure out what was the acid and what was the base involved in this particular reaction. From the hydrogen hydroxide, the water, we know that we have a hydrogen ion. Now, this must have been paired, because it's positively charged, with the negative sulfate from the salt produced here. Now this would be incorrect the way I've written it because we need to look up the charges for these ions. Hydrogen has a plus one charge and sulfate has a minus two charge. So we need to write the formula H2SO4 for this acid, which would be sulfuric acid. The base in the reaction is what gives us the hydroxide ion. Hydroxide ions have a negative charge. So that must have been paired with the positively charged iron, which is present in the salt. The final thing to do is to write the appropriate formula for iron hydroxide. I know from this equation here that I can figure out the charge of the iron. It would work out to be plus three. If it were the plus two version of iron, the formula here would be FeSO4. It would be iron two sulfate. In this case, though, because we have a 2 to 3 ratio, we can determine that the iron has a plus 3 charge because of the minus 2 charge of the sulfate. Because iron has a plus 3 charge in this particular reaction, we need to write the formula for the base as being FeOH3. Our final example looks at the example of ammonia. We know that this is a base, but as we look at this, it might be a little bit difficult to understand how would we write the neutralization process or the acid-base reaction between hydrochloric acid and ammonia. In order to better understand this, let's consider the Lewis structure of ammonia. Here we see the Lewis structure of ammonia. We can see that there are single covalent bonds to three hydrogens, and there's a non-bonding pair of electrons shown right here. We know that when hydrochloric acid dissociates, it will produce hydrogen ions and chloride ions. Now, let's take a look at what this chloride ion really is. So we see when the hydrogen chloride dissociates, the hydrogen ion is a proton which has no electrons. The electrons which were involved in the covalent bond which held the hydrogen and the chlorine together are both winding up with the chlorine after the dissociation, causing it to gain a negative charge. So we call it a chloride ion. We can see here that ammonia has a spot 
where it could accept a proton. Uh, when we find non-bonding pairs, this is the location where protons could be accepted. So the reaction will occur by the hydrogen ion attaching onto the ammonia. We'll write the ammonia on the product side. We can see that the hydrogen ion from the acid, the HCl, is going to wind up adding onto the ammonia molecule right here. So ammonia is acting as a base because it is being a proton acceptor. That hydrogen ion will bring its plus one charge along with it, causing the formation of what we call the ammonium ion, which does have a positive one charge. We also have a negatively charged chloride, which was produced during the dissociation of the acid. So we can see that the salt which is going to form from this particular acid-base reaction is ammonium chloride, NH4Cl.